When I went back to the Isle of Man for the first time, I did some filming with the local BBC, and this is some of it. Uh, I'll just have your name and title. Well, you, what would you like yourself to be called for the purposes of the tape? Well, <clears throat> though I was born Morgan James Cain, I was called Jamie as a child, so my, um, as an author, I become Jamie Morgan Cain. They just switched my first and middle name. And so Jamie is fine. Now, although I was sent to Canada soon after I was born, I do have a baptism certificate that shows I was baptized here at St. Anthony's Church in Ankin. The church itself has been rebuilt, but the Catholic priest, Father McGrath, who baptized me, had an idea to build a grotto very similar to Lourdes in France. I am sure if I had stayed on the aisle, I would have attended St. Anthony's with my family. Jamie Morgan Kane. Can we just clear that? Well, that's the, that's the book, isn't it? Yeah. Um, right, well, thank you so much for coming along to meet me today. It's, it's a pleasure to finally meet you, having read your book and heard all about your fascinating story. Just tell us, first of all, how it feels to be here on the Isle of Well, I uh, found this to be the most extraordinary journey of my life and a journey that I have dreamed of since quite small, since I was probably seven or eight years old when I was first getting the understanding about the Isle of Man. Though my first understanding of the Isle of Man is it was a magical, mystical place that sat in the middle of a sea and was guarded by this God of the sea and he protected the people. So it made me feel like I came from some place that was more than just a normal place. And uh, that's how I always felt there was, this, there was something special. And quite honestly, there is something very special about the Isle of Man. The Steam Packet is the oldest passenger shipping company in the world. In July of 1954, my journey to Canada and then to America would have started from here. I took this photo while standing upon Douglas Head. This is where Martha Boswell's ancestors camped when they first traveled to the island in the mid 19th century. And gathering around the campfires, I'm sure they would have sang songs, told stories, and sharing myths and legends of ancient times past. It was of these stories that Martha told me and why I believed I had been born in a magical place. Now, we'll come back to the Isle of Man in a moment, but let's just talk about your life, because it hasn't been an ordinary life by any stretch of the imagination, really. You were born here, you spent six months of your life here, uh, and then you moved to America. Just tell us about that first part of your life. That, those, uh, what memories do you have from that early part of your life? Do, well, you, do you remember anything about being here? I, no, I have no memories of being here, and initially I was sent to Ottawa, Canada, and then taken into America when I was a year old. My earliest memories was when I was approximately three years old, and uh, it was being in a place where people are yelling and screaming, and we were hiding under a cover under the stairs. And then the next memory I have was probably a year or so later, and it was on a bus trip from the East Coast of America to Arizona and I just remember the, going through an area where there was tree with moss hanging down off of it. So those were like my most earliest memories. It's strange though how the place you were born ended up having an influence on your life despite you essentially having a different set of family ties when you were in the yeah. States. I still don't know why Martha decided to take me away from the orphanage in Canada. Some evidence has emerged that I was due to be sent to Quebec. My best guess is that Martha had heard about something that is referred to today as the Duplice orphan scandal. And she took me to protect me. For those who are not familiar with the Duplice orphans, it is worth a Google. In America, we were poor and often lived hand to mouth, but she was the best mother she could be and told me stories and legends of the Isle of Man. And though I was thousands of miles away, I always felt connected to the Isle of my birth. One such legend she told me was that if you climb Snaffel Mountain, that from the top, that on a clear day, you could see the seven kingdoms. And these kingdoms are of England, of Scotland, 
of Wales, of Ireland, of the Isle of Man, of Heaven, and of the Sea. Everyone has their own personal mountain to climb. No matter how hard the difficulty or impossible things seem at times. What is important is that you keep going, you keep climbing, you keep believing in yourself and your dreams, and you will reach the summit of your achievements. Climbing Snaffel Mountain was always a dream of mine, and this was the day that I had a chance to fulfill that dream. As I climbed the mountain, the clouds cleared away, and I did get to see the Seven Kingdoms, just as Mother Martha said I would.